G'day and welcome to the first episode of Angel's Flyout tutorial series. This episode we're going to be talking about making custom landing gear, so custom suspension, including linear suspension on bogeyed undercarriage, trailing link undercarriage, and the way that those suspension systems work, how to make them, and a little bit of troubleshooting in terms of glitches, bugs, and retraction. This is an intermediate tutorial series, so it presumes that you already have a good understanding, or at least a decent understanding, of how the game and its systems work. First, let's talk about the trailing link suspension. So this is a trailing link suspension under type undercarriage, where, as you can see, the link trails behind it. So what you want to do, all suspension, uh, all custom suspension in Flyout uh, that I'll be talking about today is using a wing piece um, as a soft joint. You can see here that I've selected soft joint um, and that will mean that the wing can flex. So the way a soft joint works in the game is that the wing flexes uh, as one part so it doesn't actually bend, it just rotates from the root of the wing. Now if I make this wing default you can see that is the shape of the wing and to show you its orientation leading edge and trailing edge so it is actually pointing outboard like that so you can see that here is your trailing lip trailing edge of your wing there that's your trailing edge so to make a trailing link all you need to do is place the wing piece on where you want the point of rotation. For me, I wanted it to be around that bolt uh, and it will rotate around that point. You want to make your custom undercarriage shape and I like to make this wing piece a hole so that it's invisible. So here you can see that trailing link undercarriage section in action. You can see that it bends around that point of rotation which is the bolt and so it looks like a proper trailing link suspension part. Now, bogeyed undercarriage is different. Bogeyed undercarriage is the only way that we can currently have linear suspension in the game. As you know, trailing link is rotary. It is based around a one singular rotation, but a bogey can be linear. The reason that you cannot have a linear single wheel is because it will bend backwards around the point of rotation. The reason that you can have a linear suspension on a bogey is because you have the wheel in front and behind of the suspension so it can't flip over. Uh, what you want to do is you want to have one wing pointing forward, so my wing is actually embedded inside this fuselage piece, you can see the wing is there like that, uh, and another wing pointing backwards like so. So you have two wings and what that will do is as you land, as you put weight and pressure onto these wing pieces, it will flex and because it cannot tilt the bogey once the aircraft is completely flat uh, on the ground, uh, it will act as a linear suspension and move up and down. As for gear tilt, all you need to do is you just place the neutral position of the undercarriage in the tilted position that you want it to face. This is just an example that I've made. So as you can see, as we spawn in, the landing uh, gear bogey is completely flat against the ground. And as we take up, they tilt and tilt. And so that is gear tilt. All you have to do is set the neutral position to such a position, and when you land, it will do the same, except that was too hard. Now that you've placed your wings down and created your shape of your undercarriage, what you want to do is you want to go into the actual aircraft here, uh, your flyer, which you can see the you know, user app data, local low Cernix games flyout craft. I assume you already know how to get to the craft file. Um, and what you want to do is you want to find the craft that you're working on that you want to have the suspension. Go into the data.txt, control F to search for flex equals true and now every single one of these any wing that you have with soft joint will have this flex equals true and then you want to set your strength up high on this illusion 86 i have the strength set to 50 and the stiffness set to 5. now these values are going to be different for every single aircraft so every aircraft you make you're going to need to toy with that every aircraft you make with custom undercarriage um, 
you're going to probably want to make it retractable. So what you're going to find is that any undercarriage that retracts, uh, as soon as you add a hinge, it freaks out. It starts shaking, it starts, it starts freaking out. So what you're going to need to do for that, just make the hinge bigger, make the hinge way more. If, you know, the mass multiplier is enough, you know, increase the radius and the length. Uh, if you have gear tilt, that will accentuate the issue, so you will have a worse gear issue, like a worse gear freakout issue if you don't, uh, if you want gear tilt. Same as if you have a land gear style, like on, for example, a Tupolev 154 or similar, uh, where you have a hinge down here and a hinge up here, uh, that will also need a lot of fine tuning. Um, it is a lot of trial and error. You will need to go extremes, everything you can do to possibly try and work out how to make this work. Um, this is the basics. This is what you need to understand. Um, other than that, it is all down to trial and error. Thanks for watching the first episode of Angel's Flyout tutorial series. If you enjoyed or learned something, remember to like, subscribe, and all of the things that I'm supposed to tell you to do. Um, give me suggestions on what to make tutorials on next. Obviously, I don't want to cover beginners' topics. Uh, next, I want to stay on landing gear and look at how to make custom sequence doors. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, and I hope you learned something. Thank you, and good luck.